Hey man, it's Doc Farhan. Let's get into TRT in this video. Very, very important. There are eight very harmful side effects of TRT and I wrote them down just so I don't miss them. Now, what the fuck is TRT? Now, one thing is when you go to a doctor's office and let's say you have low testosterone, if it's clinically low, right, it's, it, it kind of, it meets the standard of what low testosterone is for that doctor or for that office or for that reference range or for that country, then they will prescribe you injections. A lot of the guys in the Aphrodite Academy, they have increased their testosterone levels to a, such an extent that their doctors think they're on TRT. But what the hell is TRT? It's called testosterone replacement therapy. They literally inject testosterone in your body. Okay, there's different types of testosterone molecules that they inject, different types of esters, they're called. And when they do that, your body starts producing testosterone without all the pathways involved, right? So testosterone is triggered by the brain, the synthesis of testosterone, it's in the hypothalamus, then it travels to the pituitary gland, you have gonadotropin releasing hormone, that travels to the pituitary gland, then LH is produced, that travels to the testes, binds to the LH receptor, and voila, you have the increase of testosterone, the production of testosterone. But with TRT, you're getting that injection in your body, so everything that is upstream, the precursor, what comes before the production of testosterone, ceases, it stops, it hinders. So TRT, getting that injection in your body will hinder the natural production of testosterone. Now, this is not always the case. Some doctors actually know what they're doing, so it may not completely hinder the natural production, but you're still fucking with your body. You're not doing it naturally, you're doing it artificially, you're doing it synthetically. Now, what are the side effects? Now, I'm not gonna get into all the details. I've already made an entire video about TRT, and if you have questions, post them below. The first thing, prostate cancer risk. Now, why is that? A lot of the time, when you put testosterone in your body through an injection or a pill or a gel on your skin, a transdermal gel, then what will happen is the estrogenic molecules in your body will also increase. If you increase testosterone synthetically, then estrogen also sometimes increases. A lot of the time it increases, and estrogenic receptors are very highly correlated with prostate cancer. When they look at prostate cancer patients, they see a very high level of estrogenic receptors, and a lot of people who do TRT get a higher level of estrogen. Now, the sort of, it's not a law, it's not like some rule where they say, oh, if you do TRT, you're gonna get prostate cancer. No, sir. There have been some studies that show that you could get it, some studies that show that you won't get it because those studies were flawed or they, there was something wrong with those studies. And I've looked at those studies, they weren't done very well. So it's not a proof, full, like it's not a foolproof thing where they say, oh, if you do TRT, you're gonna get prostate cancer. No, sir, but it is a risk. That's the first one. Second risk is shrinking of testes. Now, why would this happen? Because you are injecting testosterone in your body, it's like taking steroids. There's no difference, it's a shortcut. And because the natural production of testosterone ceases, the, your testes will shrink because your testes stayed at that level because the Leydig cells inside your testes are producing testosterone. So when there's cells inside the testes, the testes remain big. But if those cells stop working because your body already has testosterone, then guess what? Your balls will shrink, okay? It, this is a negative feedback loop, okay? If you don't know about this, the HPT axis, hypothalamus, pituitary gland, testes. If a lot of testosterone is being produced in downstream, in the pathway that's downstream, then the upstream will stop because there's gonna be a feedback telling the upstream pathway to stop doing what it's doing because, hey, yo man, I got enough, I got enough, stop up there. You understand? Okay, third, massive hair loss. Yeah, if you take a lot of testosterone injections, then a lot of that testosterone can convert into DHT, and there is a hypothesis that DHT, especially in the scalp, will reduce your hair. So a lot of guys who go under TRT have hair loss and they suffer from hair loss. This is not for everyone, but it is a big possibility for you. It's a risk. Fourth, 
significant increase in estrogen. I already talked about that. If you increase testosterone in your body synthetically, artificially, in a, in a, in a shortcut manner, then yes, there's a very high likelihood of increasing estrogen in your body. There have even been cases of men with breast cancer who were on TRT and estrogen increased in their body. Yes, sir. And it's not just that. You can have these you know, hanging bitch tits, man boobs, visceral fat all over your body that is inside your organs and clogging up your arteries because of the increase in estrogen in your body. And I've made an entire video about estrogen, so go watch that if you haven't done so yet. The next one, changes in mood. And this is not just because of estrogen, it's because of a lot of the lack of homeostasis in your body. Look, your body tries to keep a balance. So if you are injecting testosterone artificially, then other hormones will change as well. And like, we don't know exactly how they will change, but they will. And that can cause a change in your mood. Perhaps it's a imbalance of your serotonin levels, which affects your mood. And serotonin, as you know, is the good mood uh, neurotransmitter. So keep that in mind, changing of mood. As a man, you don't want to change your mood all the time. Uh, that's another gender's job. Blurred vision is the sixth side effect. Seventh, transfer of testosterone to your love partner and your kids. There have been cases where guys have put testosterone gels on their skin transdermally and then they go to hug their partner or have sex with their partner or their kids. You know, they try to hug their kids or kiss their kids and that gel transfers to their kids and their sex partner. And you don't want a, your wife or your girlfriend to be, you know, increase her testosterone through a gel that you took. Next, cardiovascular disease, cardiovascular mortality risk. Again, the truth, the proof is not out on this yet. There have been studies that implicate TRT with the risk of getting some kind of coronary problems, some kind of cardiovascular problems. But again, this is speculation, these are hypotheses, but why the fuck would you take the risk? Now let me get into the mental aspects of TRT. When you do TRT, you are literally telling yourself that you are not good enough to increase testosterone naturally, that you fucking need an injection. And remember, you're dependent on that for life. So it's a shortcut. You're mentally telling yourself, I'm gonna take a shortcut. How you do one thing is how you do everything. If you're gonna take a shortcut on this, you're gonna take a shortcut on other things in life. We have guys in the Afrobeat Academy who've tripled their testosterone. One guy increased it by 253%, not just total but also free and bioavailable. And his doctor thought this guy was on testosterone injections. He's like, I didn't prescribe you injections. What the hell did you do? Aphrodite. Now, these guys who are doubling their testosterone levels in a matter of months, they're not doing it synthetically or artificially. They're doing it naturally through Aphrodite and the Aphrodite Academy. Now, why am I saying that? Listen, the society that we live in today wants you to take a shortcut. It wants you to become weak. I mean, look around you, man. Men are becoming fucking pussies. And by the way, TRT is no different than watching porn, taking that shortcut. I mean, if you're gonna take a shortcut in this, then you might as well go watch porn and not have sex with a real girl. I mean, what's the difference? TRT is a shortcut to increasing your testosterone. Porn is a shortcut to getting your sexuality satisfied. Now, the guys in the Aphrodite Academy, they believe, and, and I know this is also a quote, some, some, someone said it back in the day, of some great man for sure. Masculinity is not something you're born with. It's a series of small wins that you win slowly, a series of small battles. The guys in the Aphrodite Academy are fighting those battles every day. I want you to fight those battles every day. It's not something that you just are born with. It's something you take. It's something you win. It's something you, you get with these small battles. The guys that are in the Academy, the entrepreneurs, the guys who start their own businesses, the guys who travel the world, the guys who take big risks and become successful, they are on those small wins. So you start taking these small wins right now. How? Go down below. There's all these resources that I have for you for free on how to increase your testosterone levels naturally, how to 
get that mojo back. And these are all digital copies. You can access them right now. Start increasing your testosterone in the next two minutes. So click that below. If you're interested in the Afro D Academy and what Afro D is and you want to learn about this 100% natural herb, also there's a link below to learn about that. Go click on those, go learn. If you have any questions, man, comment below. I'm here for you to answer everything and I'll see you in the next video.